we get the herd to Surprise Valley, Panhandle, you and Larry go back to the ranch for more supplies. Right, Mr. Burke. And I sure hope nothing happens to this bunch of Cayuses. So do I. We don't want to claim bad luck all the time. He probably never knew what hit him. Yeah, it's going to be plenty tough having to tell his daughter. All right, boys, let's him in the wagon. All right, boys, take the herd down to the hangout through Eagle Pass. I got to report back to Big Jim. Yeah. He's in his office, talking to Bart Daggett, the Army agent. You wouldn't think a knocking for you come in, would you, Hank? You ain't going social on me, are you, Jim? Well, I knew you were. All wouldn't. right, we won't go into that. Did you get the hurt? Did I ever fall down on the job before? No. And by the way, I don't think you're going to be bothered by Dan Burke anymore. Good. A couple more raids and we'll have that Burke Garden outfit just where we want it. What about young Frank Garden, Burke's partner? You suppose he'll give us any trouble? Not him. From what I hear, he's too busy back east getting drunk. Well, he ain't been in these parts in the last ten years. What about Burke's daughter? She might put up a little fight. We'll take care of her. Now, don't you worry about that. Oh, uh, when Colonel Mao get in town, Daggett? In about two weeks. I wired him that I didn't think the Burke Garden Ranch would be able to fulfill their contract on those cavalry horses, that I'm negotiating with you. That's fine. I expect that army contract's going to make me $150,000. You mean us? Now, look here, Daggett. You're getting these rustled horses, and you're getting a good price for them in foreign countries. Yeah, sure. But by the time I rebrand and smuggle them aboard ship, I've lost half of my profit. I'm not in this thing for my health, you know. Now, why don't you two hombres grow up? There's enough money in this deal for all of us. You're right, Hank. Well, stick around town a few days, Daggett, and I'll have another bunch of horses for you. All right.
You say Benson is sending 500 head to the Burt Gordon Ranch? Right. We'll take care of him. They're being held in Oak Canyon. I don't care how you do it, but you've got to stop those horses from reaching the Burke Ranch. Something's got to be done to stop this rustling, Ted. Do you realize that in 10 days we're supposed to deliver 3,000 head of horses? And if we can round up 500 right now, we're lucky. Well, I've done everything I can, Miss Kay. They seem to know every move we make. So I've noticed. I've spent every dollar I have trying to save that contract. Well, what I can't figure out is they just disappear and nobody ever sees them again. Yeah, and that sheriff's about as useful as a cayuse with three legs. Don't you worry, Miss Kay. I know where we can buy 2,000 head of horses. So do I, but what do we use for money? Oh, yeah, I never thought of that. Say, why don't young Gordon come out here? He's got plenty of money. He's too busy spending it, being a playboy. I've wired him at least a dozen times explaining the situation, and he hasn't even shown me the courtesy to answer. I guess he's just not interested. Well, why don't you send him another telegram and make it plenty strong? Tell him you're going to lose the ranch if he don't come out here and help you run it. There's more truth than poetry in what you say, Panhandle, but I guess it's our only hope. I think you're wasting your time, Miss Kay. Maybe. Too high class for us? No, I can take it. Good. We'll we'll sneak over and sit down and pretend that we've been drinking. This is my reserve table. Allow me, my little chickadee. Go ahead. Hello, my good man. The best in the house for me and my girlfriend. You know. Hey, what's the matter, Gertie? You, you look like you're mad at me. Well, I've got a right to be. You promised me we'd be married this morning. So well, what about it? Well, all we've been doing was going around from one bar to another. So oh, you poor darling. Look, I'll tell you what we'll do. Tonight, we'll have a good time. And our first thing in the morning, we'll get married. Yeah, that's what you told me yesterday. Yesterday? Oh.
всем. took out of his pocket. Why, well, you're crazy, Ken. I don't know what you're talking about. What about that? Here. Thank you. You... I know. I'm fired. I'll beat you to it. I'll quit. I'll take you out of here. Wait a minute. Take off that suit. That ain't a bad idea. I never did like the outfit anyhow. Wait till I change clothes. Take this, old man. Might make you feel better. Oh. Nasty, huh? Oh, thanks. Hello. Well, hello yourself. Hey, you know, uh, you don't know how bad I feel about you losing your job. But, but maybe I can make it up to you some way. Oh, forget it. I didn't like a place anyhow. Just trying to get enough money to get back to Arizona. Arizona? Yeah. Me and my partner come to the city with a bunch of stock. Sold them out, but he skipped with the money. Left me stranded. Mm, that's too bad. That's too... Uh-oh. This little telegram reminds me of something. You know, I own half of a ranch somewhere in Arizona. Uh, that is, my father did, and he left it to me. I wonder... What do you suppose they want? Why don't you try opening it? Maybe you find out. That's a swell idea. Well, that's funny. There isn't anything in this. You know, this is the fourth one I've gotten like this in the last few weeks. I wish they'd stop fooling. Why don't you try reading the telegram instead of the envelope? Huh? See, you're smart, aren't you? That's <laughs> silly. Uh, maybe you better read it. I never could read on a moving train. All right. Oh. Absolutely imperative you come to ranch and take charge. I've wired you several times regarding father's death and condition here. Stop. Need additional money at once to carry on, or we'll lose ranch as well as army contract. Sign, K. Burke. Gee, looks like this K. Burke's in quite a jam. Well, she's always in trouble. 
You know, I haven't seen her since she was a little bug-nosed kid. And if she's anything now like she was then, she's a female cyclone. According to this, she needs help, Gordon. Says she's liable to lose the ranch. Well, so what if she does? I'll be better off. It's only a headache anyway. Joe, speaking of headaches, I'm sure going on the wagon. You better go to Arizona. Say, yes. Arizona? No, sir. I want no part of Arizona. Not me. I'll tell you what, though. Why don't you go out and s sort of handle things for me? I'll pay you a good salary. Suits me all right. Wouldn't be any use, though, unless you went along to back me up. I, I don't know. I, maybe I should go out and... Oh! Shh! <laughs> go! Answer that, will you? Sure. Hello? Yes, it is. You want to speak to him? Who is it? Some lady by the name of Gertie. I'll talk to her. Gertie! No! Tell her I'm not in. Tell her I'm on my way to Arizona. Arizona? I'm sorry, miss. But Mr. Garden's on his way to Arizona. And he left word that you... What's the matter? Yeah, I don't know. Sound like she fainted or something. Good. Come here, come here. Come here. You wire k Burke and tell her to expect us when we get there. It's either that or get married. Uh, we'll leave as soon as the room stops spinning around and I can find the door. Good. Tell me, what's your name? Gertie. But, what? <laughs> Gertie, <laughs> and she's a fine... Gertie, take her away. I don't want her. I don't want her. Gertie. What's the matter? Have more Gertie trouble? Yeah. They, they can't do this to me. What does Kaybrick think I'm going to do? Walk after the ranch? <laughs> well, let's get our horses. Come on. I don't think they'll give us much trouble. Are you Frank Gordon? Uh, Gordon? Uh, who, me? No, no, I, I'm only a secretary. Uh, that's Gordon over there. Well, you're Frank Gordon, eh? Any crime in that? Yes, there is. When that afternoon train comes through here for the East, you're going to be on it. Oh, no. I don't like trains. They make me seasick. You're going to be more than seasick if you don't take my advice. You ain't wanted in these parts. Folks are sure friendly around here, ain't you? Now listen, mister, whatever your name is. I like it out here. And I'm liable to stick around here for quite some time. Now, is that a nice way to treat a stranger? Come on, get up from there. Get on your feet. Now get going. Tell whoever you're working for that Frank Garden's out here to run the Brook Garden Ranch. Can't be bluffed by any amateur bad men. Go on. Boy, oh boy, I sure used my head when I told him you was me. Because if I'd been you instead of you, I'd have gotten a beating. But by you being me instead of you, I'm still feeling fit as a fiddle. I <laughs> hope you know what you're talking about, because I don't. What about this horse here? Why, this is Tarzan, partner. The smartest horse in this part of the country can do anything but talk. Sure, go ahead and buy him if you want to. What do we care about expenses? Uh, look, I, I got some very important business to take care of in town. Uh, I'll be out to the ranch a little later on. Now, look here, Frank. You've been drunk ever since I've known you. Can't you stay sober long enough to straighten things up around here? Are you insinuating that I drink? No, oh no. Oh, go on and run the ranch the way you want. You don't need me anyway. And if you need any more money, look me up. I'll be around. All right. You see that hombre again, give him back his gun. That's right, huh? What was you saying about this horse here? Well, now, I'll just show you a few things. Pretty good looking animal. Well, look, the yeah, little while ago. Say, Tarzan, come around here. Now, look at this gentleman. Would you like to have him as an owner? 
That's cute, huh? All right, cute. Now, All right. Right. Now, a nice old smile for the man. Come on, a nice old smile. Say, yes, sir. I'd love to be with you. Well, <laughs> isn't that nice? Now then, show the gentleman how old you are. Come on. How old are you now? One, two, three. Three, he's born three. Oh, oh. Yeah. Four, four, <laughs> five. <laughs> now then, will you bow nicely for the man? Come on, bow. That's it, bow, bow. That's a boy. What do you think of that now? <laughs> now then, how would you like to go with the man? Huh? All right, go ahead. Go on, show him. Hey, loving nod. That's nice. That's all right. A nice loving nod. I think he does like me a We're going to get along all right. I'll take him. All right. How about a saddle and outfit to go with him? Oh, I've got the whole outfit right over here. All right, we'll take it. Here he comes. That dude secretary ain't with him. All right. Put him up and keep him up. What is this, a game? You fellas seem mightily interested in me. You said it. We even like you so much, we're going to take you out to our house for a nice long visit. Yeah? Now get on one of them horses and don't try any funny business. think you're going? I want to see Kay Burke. She probably don't want to see you. She's kind of particular. I wouldn't be surprised. From what I can hear, she's a regular female cyclone. Thanks for the compliment. Female cyclone, am I? Well, gee, I, I, I'm... Uh, you don't have to explain. What do you want? Well, I wired you trying to explain. Oh, so you're Frank Gordon. Yes. Well, it's about time you got here. Now, let's don't jump at one another's throats. What's the trouble? Trouble? This is a fine time to ask me that. I've been trying to get in touch with you for six months. And now with my father dead, nearly all of the horses stolen, you show up. Say, are things really that bad? They're worse. Come on in the bunkhouse. I'll show you where you can flop. How'd the place look to you after all these years? Oh, just about the same, I guess. Why, Frank, we just changed this place all around last fall. Oh, well, I guess I've been gone too long. I I think I'll wash up. Hey, Frank. There's the washroom. <laughs> I'm getting mighty forgetful, I guess.
Well, where'd you get them? <laughs> oh, I thought you might be needing these with all this trouble. Say, that's a fine-looking outfit. Wouldn't mind having a pair of them myself. They are yours. Uh, what do you mean? What's the matter? Those belong to your father. You used them last time you was here. <laughs> Imagine me forgetting that. I should have remembered it. I don't know what's the matter with my memory here lately. I don't either, but I aim to find out. And first of all, I'm going to jog your memory by telling you I don't think you're Frank Gordon. All right, I'm not Frank Gordon. Well, if you ain't, then who are you? Ken Clark, Douglas County, Arizona. That's my territory. Say, you ain't no kin to Jim Clark, the sheriff of Douglas, are you? Here's my father. Well, how come you're using the name Gordon? It's kind of a long, drawn-out story. You sit down, I'll explain it all to you. I wish I hadn't sent for him, Tex. I know we'll never get along. Say, uh, you want me to sort of discourage him about sticking around? No, that wouldn't do any good. I've got to force myself to be nice to him until I find out whether he'll put up enough money to straighten things out here. Hello. Hello, Miss Berg. Hi, Miss Kay. Tex, this is Frank Gordon, the other half of the Burke Gordon outfit. Frank, meet Tex Hammond, our foreman. Howdy. How do you do? I just got through explaining to Frank what's been going on here, and he wants me to show him over the ranch. Yes, I'm anxious to see that last herd of horses you rounded up. I'm sure you have a perfect right to investigate your own property. Well, uh, I sort of figured on going over to see Creeley and trying to talk him out of selling us enough horses to make good on our contract, then letting him wait for the money till the Army pays us. Creeley run that many horses? Yeah. He's about the largest horse rancher in this part of the country. Raises a fine breed of stock, too. Creeley wouldn't sell us nothing, not even if we had the money to pay for it. He's been after that Army contract himself. Well, we'll talk to Creeley later. Let's get going now. That our herd, boys? That was our herd. Lord. Might hit Tex. Come on, let's get out of here.
Well, now we've got them rounded up, boys, what are we going to do with them? Leave them out here on this open range, they're sense to be rustled again. Well, I don't know what else we can do with them. I do. We drive in Surprise Valley. That's where we was heading with the big herd when they was rustled and old man Burke was killed. Yeah, that's right. We ought to be safe there. Well, all right, let's get them moving then, boys. There's nothing much I can do about the matter. You see, Colonel Marlowe arrives the latter part of this week. It'll be up to him to decide. But you're the buyer for the cavalry in this district. Surely you can persuade him to delay his decision. At least until we get a chance to recover our stolen stock. I'm willing to do anything I can to help you. However, Colonel Marlowe has very definite ideas of his own. And if you fail to produce the number of horses agreed upon, he'll award that contract to someone else. Well, I'll appreciate your efforts anyhow, Mr. Daggett. Good evening, Jack. Good evening. Good evening, Pan Idol. My name is Kay. Hi, Mr. Daggett. Meet Frank Gord, Burke's partner from the East. Glad to know you, Mr. Garden. I do, sir. I was talking to the young lady about the Army contract. I promised to help her all I could to retain it. Well, thanks. We nearly lost another herd today. We'll probably need all the help we can get. Well, if you'll excuse me, I'll be running along. So, Tex. Will you take a little look at this stirrup leather? It looks weak. Sure. Surprise Valley. Creeley knows where it is. Well, I think that'll be all right, Mr. Daggett. Uh, thanks, Tex. We nearly lost another herd today, Frank. Yes, a bunch of rustlers tried to run them off, that's all. Three of us got there just barely in time. Well, I reckon the herd will be plenty safe now we get ready to deliver them, Miss Kay. We took them to Surprise Valley. I want to talk to Mr. Gordon alone, if you and Tex don't mind. Oh, sure, Miss Kay. Mr. Gordon, the main reason I wired you to come out here was from a financial standpoint. I believe we can hold on to our contract with the Army if we can get a hold of enough horses to meet this next delivery. Well, uh, what, are, what do you suggest? There's only one thing to suggest. We've got to arrange to buy enough stock to make good our agreement. Once the contract is renewed, we've got three months to figure out a way to keep it. Well, the idea sounds all right, Miss Burke, but it might not be a safe investment. Well, we're certain to get our money back. The Army always pays on delivery. Well, I, I, I have to think it over. I... Why should you have to think it over? I know where we can buy plenty of horses, and you've got the money to do it. I know, but the, you, you don't understand that. I understand this much. It doesn't seem to make much difference to you whether I lose this ranch or not. Well, it does to me. Outside of my interest in this place, I haven't got a thing in the world. I realize that, Miss Berg, but I, I... I still have to think it over. Forget it. I should have known better than even to mention it. Well, Panhandle, I certainly got myself in a fine jam. Miss Kay just asked me to put up enough money to buy the horses to fulfill that army contract. Of course, I had to do a lot of stalling and wound up making a fool of myself. Whew. Boy, that's something. Maybe we'd better tell her the truth. No, I thought of that. She was so mad I didn't have the nerve. No, she's a mighty swell person, Panhandle. I wish things could have turned out different. The only thing I can do is look up Gardner and get him to explain the whole situation. He's not a bad sort. I think I can handle him. Yeah, the only thing is, I hope he ain't got lost in the shuffle. What you told me about him, he's liable to be on his way back to Chicago by now. Well, it won't take us long to find out. We're riding in the mesquite first thing in the morning.
Come on, let's turn in. I'll be out in a minute, Panhandle. Good morning, Miss Burke. You know where Tex is? I certainly do. I sent him out to Surprise Valley to see if Larry and the boys are all right. Russell is on the herd in Surprise Valley. They stampeded him. What about the boys? I was the only one who got away. I almost got plugged by some serious hombre a couple of miles up the trail. I'm sorry, Miss Kay. Well, that's all right, Larry. It wasn't your fault. You'd better go and get some rest now. Thanks, ma'am. That certainly was a bright idea of yours, taking the herd to Surprise Valley. You were probably trailed all the way. I don't think so. Somebody must have tipped the rustlers off. No one knew where the herd was outside of our own boys. From now on, I'm taking matters into my own hands. I'm going to town and round up a posse big enough to comb this entire country. We're going to town, too, Pan Al. I want to locate Garden and get him and Kay together. Well, maybe it'd do some good, but I'd sure like to find out who tipped off them rustlers. Larry and his boys are with the herd, and the rest of us was here at the ranch all night. What about this army agent? Suppose he could have found out something? No, we didn't say nothing to Miss Kay about what we taking the herd until after he left. Wait a minute. Tex went out to help Daddy with his saddle since. He's with him long, long enough to tip him off. By golly, you're right. And another thing. Larry didn't meet Tex on the trail coming back in the valley, else Tex would have been with him. Yeah. And maybe he's the bird took a pot shot at Larry. Come on, let's go dig him up, see if we can persuade him to talk. Oh. Looks like we was on a wild goose chase, Ken. We're nearly to the valley. We ain't cut Texas Trail yet. Ah, uh, that's where you're wrong. Hey, there. Come on. Our hunch is right about Tex and Daggett, that animal. Now we got to find out where they're hidden the stolen horses. Now you follow Daggett and I'll follow Tex. Right, I'll meet you back at the bunkhouse. Go ahead.
Start reaching. Now get moving. He went that way. Well, there's no use of trying to follow him. Chick, you've been over at Creeley's ranch. If he's not there, phone him down to the saloon. Explain what happened. Tell him I think we better get the horses out of here. Right. Sleeping again, are you, Pan Am? Hey, listen, I found the stolen horses. We gotta get to town and get a posse right away. Come on, wake up. Come on, Pan Am. Pan Am, wake up, wake up, come. was the worst thing you could have done. I told you I couldn't help it. I spotted him trailing me and I doubled back to the Burke Garden Ranch. I thought that would keep him from being suspicious. And then? Well, I went into the bunkhouse looking for Tex and he followed me inside. Threatened to kill me if I didn't tell him who was at the head of this horse rustling. It was either his life or mine. Well, there's no use crying over spilled milk. But I know that Panhandle wasn't smart enough to figure out for himself that you were mixed in this deal. That was Frank Gordon's idea. He's the one we've got to worry about now. Hello. Yes, this is Jim Creeley. What? Oh, all right. Tell Tex I'll be on the lookout for Gordon when he comes. And I'll be out myself to help move the herd. Now, the fat is in the fire. Frank Gordon's discovered our hangout. Tex and the boys tried to capture him, but he got away. Well, I'm pulling out of here before anything else happens. Wait a minute. You'll see us through or else. Come on, we'll round up the rest of the gang, move these horses to a safer place. So, you won't tell me another day, huh? Well, listen, smartly, I could buy and sell this joint if I wanted to. And incidentally, do you know who I am? Now, what are you laughing at? I'm Frank Gordon, that's who I am. Does that mean anything to you? Wait here. I said, does that mean anything to you? Well, you're crazy. Frank Gordon's been out to his ranch for the last three, four days. Oh, is that so? Well, that's what you think. Listen, I'm Frank Gordon, and the fellow out at the ranch is Ken Clark. A devil I had to do my fighting for me. And if you don't believe me, just take a look at this. Look at that. Frank Gordon. It says Frank Gordon, doesn't it? Frank Gordon. See that one? Frank Gordon on there. And look at this one. Frank Gordon. Now, am I Frank Gordon or am I Frank Gordon? <laughs> hey, I'm sorry if we've caused you any trouble, Mr. Gordon. Uh, you know, I own the Silver Dollar here, and uh, uh, suppose you come in my office and we'll just talk the matter over. That's huh? right. Say, so you're a <laughs> fat guy. He talks too much. Boy, sure. You know, I always like to meet the boss. He always gives me a free drink. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a funny thing. You thinking that that other fellow was great, and I'm great. There's two great. Yeah. We'll have a little drink. Special 
special stuff here I keep for my friends. I knew I'd like you the minute I saw you. One for you. All right, get him out on a horse. As soon as I can get the shirt, leave for the hangout. Hello, operator. Get me the sheriff's office right away. Hello, Sheriff Rand. Now, this is Jim Creeley speaking. You say you have positive proof that the man isn't Frank Gordon? Yes, I have. His real name is Ken Clark. I have word to that effect. And also that the real Frank Gordon is missing. This Clark probably killed Gordon and is on his way to rob K. Burke. He's supposed to be on his way into town right now. Now, you pick him up when he gets there. Well, I'll do as you say, Jim, and thanks. Miss Burke is in my office here now. We've just formed the posse and we're starting out to search for her stolen horses. If this Ken Clark is on his way here, we ought to meet him on the road. All right, sir. Who's Ken Clark? He's an imposter. He's out at your ranch posing as Frank Gordon. Are you sure? Big Jim Creeley just told me he had proof of it. I don't believe it. If you knew him, you'd agree with me. Well, maybe you're right. But I'm going to pick him up and question him anyway. Sheriff, I want to see you. Yes, and I want to see you, too. You're under arrest on suspicion of murdering Frank Gordon. Frank Gordon murdered? Oh, don't act innocent. I've got plenty of proof. Sheriff, I don't know what you're talking about. I can explain everything. Yeah, well, you'll have plenty of chance to talk after you're locked up, Mr. Ken Clark. All right, Sheriff, I am Ken Clark. Miss Burke, Panhandle's been murdered. Now, found your stolen horses. If we don't get back there where they're hidden them right away, the rustles will move them. Now, another thing, Sheriff, I found out that Tex Hammond and Bart Daggett's mixed up in this. That's a fine sound in yarn. Get going. I believe he's telling the truth, Sheriff. Why don't you give him the chance to prove his story? Oh, he's just trying to lie his way out of a tough spot, Kay. But I'm going to keep him in a safe place till I can check his story thoroughly. There you go. Listen, I don't think this is a bit funny. Let me loosen the lick you all two at a time. Ah, shut up or you'll get slugged again. Get in that shack with you. Now let's get saddled up and we'll move the herd. Sheriff's posse.
get up from there. Get up. Come on. There you are, Sheriff. Dag is the man Pan Am was trailing when he was killed. Oughtn't be hard to get him to talk now. Boy, it was sure my lucky day when I hired you to be me. Good work, Ken. Come on, you. That certainly was a bad job for me. Now on, you better try beating yourself. Oh, boy, look at that, look at that. You know, the three of us are going to be very, very happy out here. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give up all my connections back east and come out here and live the way I always wanted to. That's what you think. I am. Hey! You're coming back east with me and coming right now. Oh, no, I'm not. Ha, 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 ha.